Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today's video, we are going to open up another bunch of cards that I found at the most recent road trip video that I posted this weekend. And as you can see, this time there are only going to be five cards per box. This is a, um, a release every year that is just kind of limited in the amount of cards that you get inside of this box. But for good reason, because you can see when you have Panini Elite Extra Edition like we do right here, there are only five cards. Um, but you get one autograph card pretty much guaranteed, and the other is a memorabilia card pretty much guaranteed as well, including two Blaster Exclusive Pink Parallels. So we're going to get four cards that should be either autographs, relics, or pink parallels, and then just maybe one base card. You can see that on the cover of the box here, Austin Martin, who was the first round pick of the Toronto Blue Jays, he actually slipped in the draft. A lot of people had him going... Um, maybe second or third, whether it was to Kansas City or um, to Baltimore or maybe even the Marlins. Um, but then whenever he slipped to the Blue Jays, they jumped on the opportunity to draft him. A uh, kid out of Vanderbilt who had a great college career and uh, definitely was a bit of a surprise that he fell as far as he did. And Austin Martin, I mentioned this in my video the other day, does not have a Bowman card yet. He is um, I think one of only two of the first round players who was not included in Bowman draft for this upcoming or this past year. So uh, I'm assuming he'll be one of the headliners in the 2021 Bowman release, kind of like Bobby Witt got held back until this year as well. So I'm going to open this up. There's only going to be five cards. I opened this product last year and I did get a Dominican League prospect for my autograph. Now, obviously, the information on some of the Dominican League players is very, very slim. So I just held on to that card, and we'll see if that player turns into anything or not. And so there you go. You have this giant box with all this space inside of it that is just empty. And then this is your actual pack. Five cards, and then there's a no purchase necessary. It's going to be way too small for me to get that where you can see it. So let's just go ahead and rip into it here. We should have five cards. Ooh. You can see how we've got that relic in the middle. It's a little bit thicker with the um, with the four just kind of regular cards around it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just to go this way. Here we go. Card number one from Oklahoma State. This is one of the pink parallels exclusive to the blaster boxes. Kaden Polkovich or Polkovich, uh, probably Polkovich from Panini Elite Extradition. You see he's an Oklahoma State cowboy. And he was apparently drafted by Seattle. Um, we'll check that out here in a second. Let's see, card number two. Uh, hiding behind there is also pink. Grand Canyon, Little Rock, and UT Rio Grand Valley thought they had it rough. He hit two RBIs against them in all of them. Saint, uh, then St. Louis visited Stillwater, and he almost hit a cycle against them. So it doesn't really say anything about where he was drafted. Caden uh, Polkovich, I'll have to look up on his bio and see where he was drafted but apparently he's a part of the mariners organization maybe i'll add that in editing card number two from the baltimore organization is carter baumler and i don't recognize that jersey that he's wearing right off the top so i'm going to go ahead and try not to expose the well let me go ahead and take this uh, i've got this xander bogart's card i'll just kind of put right here not to expose the next one carter baumler is a pitcher um, looks like he pitched in Iowa, so maybe this is a high school player. And he was a kicker and punter on the 4A state championship football team. So Carter Baumler for the Orioles. I'll look up some stuff on him. There was our two pink parallels. I'll take this one from the back. This one from the back is our base card. And the thing you'll always get with Panini Elite Extradition is a lot of numbered cards. So this is our numbered card here. Like the, look at this refractor numbered out of 226. You can see right there, 137 out of 226. It is another picture. Cade Cavalli. Prime numbers, it says underneath there. Prime numbers, Cade Cavalli uh, for Washington. Now that name sounds familiar. I feel like he has a card in Bowman this year. I'll go ahead and flip it over on the back. Um, rolled over the razor bar, rolled over the razorbacks and uh, struck out 11, no walks, and that is a nice one. Kate Cavalli, we'll have to see how he does with the Washington Nationals this year. I'm going to go ahead and expose the relic here next because that is um, the next card. 18 and under U.S. National Team. Now, just because it's an 18 and under card doesn't mean this player is not 
in the majors or at least in college yet. Oh, and, oh yes, this is a nice one. Jared Kellenick. All of my buddies up in the Northwest, Northwest Rips, Kyle's Cards, and uh, actually people all across the hobby know everything there is to know about Jared Kellenick being a big time prospect, kind of a consensus top five prospect in all of baseball. And so look at that. This is a USA material card here. That's his jersey that they've kind of <laughs> framed in with the USA uh, initials right there whenever he played on the 18 and under national team which is obviously a few years ago because now he is uh, well into his minor league career. That is nice. I don't know if that's, that's obviously probably not a $20 hit, but that is very nice. And then here's going to be our autograph card on the back. I can see that it's upside down. Let me go ahead and flip this over so I don't expose it. And this should work here. Our autograph card looks like we have a, is that another Oklahoma Sooner? It looks like another Oklahoma Sooner. It is, this is a left-handed pitcher, and our autograph is Levi Prater. Levi Prater, or Pratter, probably Prater, of the St. Louis Cardinals, it appears. Levi Prater, that's a nice on-card autograph. There is no sticker on that. That's an on-card autograph, which I think um, might be different than last year. I can't remember if my one last year was a sticker autograph or not. And it talks about how he shut down the San Diego State line up there with 13 strikeouts and seven dominant frames so as you can see here guys this product is full of kind of quote-unquote hits you're going to get a guaranteed autograph pretty much you're going to get a relic card which this is probably my favorite card right there jared kellenick because he's going to be an absolute beast you're going to get two of the pink blaster exclusive parallels and then you'll get one base card and the base card is always numbered like even their regular base cards i think are numbered out of 9.99 so i got one of them that's a little bit lower number 226 um, I did get a lot of pitchers. Three out of my five cards were pitchers, which obviously is not quite as valuable as the position players, but the Kellenic is nice, and we're definitely going to have to look up some stuff on these these guys who have been drafted or, or signed with organizations to see uh, their background. And even though they may not have played last year due to the pandemic in the minor leagues, maybe we can see where they were drafted, and that might give us a clue as to what type of future they may have. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you see this out and about, it's not something you maybe want to pass over. It's, it's worth a shot. $20 for a guaranteed autograph and a guaranteed relic uh, isn't too bad. So I'll catch you in the next one, and have a good one out there, everybody.